Hi everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an exciting new feature to talk about, GACon Accounting Integration Tools Business Overview Reports. In this video, we'll provide you with a high-level overview of what these reports are, how to generate them, and how to design them using the report style feature. So let's dive right in. First thing is first, let's understand what business overview reports are. Business overview reports are a powerful tool that provide a comprehensive summary of your company's financial health and performance. These reports offer a high-level view of your business's key financial metrics, such as revenue, expenses, profitability, and cash flow. The great thing is that you can customize these reports to focus on specific time periods or aspects of your business, giving you valuable insights into how your company is performing. Business overview reports provided by GACon are essential for assessing your business's overall well-being and identifying areas for improvement. Now let's learn how to generate these reports. To generate business overview reports in Google Sheets, you want to first make sure that you are logged into QuickBooks. Then from the menu, go to Extensions, GACon for QuickBooks, get Accounting Data slash Reports, and click on Business Overview Reports. Once you click here, you will have multiple business accounting reports to choose from, allowing you to create a reusable template for later use. For example's sake, we're going to go ahead and choose Balance Sheet. Now you will be presented with a series of parameters that are required to execute the report. First, you are going to choose either a dynamic date range by clicking from the drop down here, or a static date range by clicking this button and selecting specific calendar dates. Additionally, you can click this icon to use a reference in your Google Sheet as the date. For now, we'll stick with the dynamic date range of this month. Next, you want to compare with the required previous periods using this drop-down. Here you can choose from 12 months to one month or more. The accounting method, accrual or cash, the accounts required that you'd like to include in the balance sheet, and the items required that you would like to include in the balance sheet. You can also make use of the optional features under the Change Pull Settings tab. Here, you can set the report to create a new Google Sheet, hide grid lines, show negatives in red, and create deep links to QuickBooks. You also want to make sure that you give your template a name for easy reference. For this sake, I just named it Balance Sheet 123. Now let's move on to designing these reports to suit your preferences. The report style settings allows you to configure various aspects of your reports, including the title, header style, colors, background color, and fonts. You have the flexibility to choose specific report sections like the title, headers, subsection totals, and customize font styles, sizes, colors, borders, and more. By customizing these sections, you can create a highly unique and distinctive presentation and view for your reports. For example, here you can design your balance sheet report to match your company's branding and style. For example's sake, I'm going to go ahead and choose header. I can set my font size to whatever I'd like it to be. I'm going to go for 12. You can change the font family, so impact here. Change whether it's bold or italicized. Change the text color and text background, as well as selecting whether you'd like a top or bottom border. In this case, I'll select both. Now that I'm done setting up my report and its style, I can go ahead and click Execute to generate the finished result. As you can see here, I have my customized balance sheet now. If you would like to automate the data refresh process, you can do that quite easily. Going to Extensions, GACon for QuickBooks, automation and create workflow will bring you to this page here. For example's sake, I'm going to name this workflow example business ABC and here you can provide a description balance sheet automation and then here, you can add the templates that you have just created. 
So my customized balance sheet template here, I can drag over. Under scheduler, I can choose how frequently I would like this to refresh for me. Let's say I would like to refresh on a daily basis right before the beginning of my workday, so around 5 a.m. Now, this is set to refresh every day around 5 a.m. If I'd like to email this to myself or others, I could set that up here. And I could also set an alert to alert me or any other contacts when this has been refreshed and they can access the most latest data. Here is whether I'd like to create a copy or not. As of right now, I don't want to do that. When all is set up and done, I'll hit apply and execute. And now I have set this balance sheet to automate automatically refresh on 5 a.m. on a daily basis. Now, if you're wondering if this template is set in stone, it is not. If you'd like to update your template or edit it in any way, that is easy to do. Go to Extensions, GACon for QuickBooks, and then Edit Template for Current Sheet. Clicking this, I can select the template I would like to edit. This is the one that we just created. Hit this little icon for Edit Template. And then once you have this page loaded up for you, you can see all of the different settings that I had set up, template going all the way down to template name are still here and you can edit them to your liking. Once you are done, you can go ahead and select just update or update and execute to get the most up-to-date data with all of the settings that you have just recently edited. I'm gonna go ahead and update and execute and you will be done. This ensures your reports are always up to date with the latest info and up to date with your business. That's a wrap on today's video on GACon Accounting Integration Tools Business Overview Reports. We hope you found this overview helpful in understanding how to generate and customize these reports to gain valuable insights into your business's financial performance. If you have any questions or need further clarification, please feel free to ask in the comments section below.